Hello! So in this video I'm going to show you how I cut and edit music using GarageBand. I am a dance teacher and choreographer so I've spent many years having to edit songs for recitals and competitions and even just for in class. So I have a lot of experience editing music. This video is going to be a very basic how to use GarageBand, what I do when I first put a song into GarageBand and set it up and just basic how to cut it, how to fade it out, just the really basic things. I'm gonna make another video later that is a bit more complicated on how to edit out swear words and do stuff like that that's a little bit more complicated. This is just gonna be very basic how to use GarageBand and what I do when I cut a song in it. So I do my editing on my MacBook Air and the version of GarageBand that I'm gonna be using in this video is version 10.2.0. Okay, so the first thing that I do is I just put my song onto my desktop. You don't have to do this. You can open the song from GarageBand. I just do this because GarageBand doesn't always update my playlist right away, so it's just easier. And then I'm going to click on GarageBand and open it up. Okay, then I'm just going to click on Empty Project. And then I'll open GarageBand and then here I'm just going to click on the piano. I'm not actually going to use the piano, but... And then when it opens up the piano, I'm just going to exit out of it because I don't need it. And then I'm just going to close this part on the end and then drag this part to make it smaller just so I have the most space possible to edit. And then I'm going to click on the scissors at the top left. That opens up the bottom part to do the cutting. And then I'm going to unclick that just because it makes like a ticking sound and I don't need to use that for cutting and then I'm going to change this to time you can do whatever you like up there I like to have the time just because I always have to make my songs a certain length so it makes it easier then I'm going to drag my song and drop it into GarageBand and then I have my song open at the top I can click anywhere and play the song On the top or the bottom and then if you want to cut out a section from the middle you just have to find the section that you want to cut and then you're going to go to the bottom and the bottom section of the bottom part is where you're going to click and then drag however much however much you'd like to cut out and then just press delete and then you can go to the top and just drag it together and then the cut part will just be gone. And if you don't like it, you can just easily undo and put it back together. So what I'm actually going to do for this song is I need to make it around a minute and 50 seconds. So I'm going to cut out the end of the song. So I'm going to go to the bottom part and click and drag and then I'm going to just delete that section and then click on the whole end section and just delete it. And then I'm going to add a fade out. Fade out is super easy to add and it does it for you and so it makes it sound good. So what you're going to do is you're going to find at the very top you're going to go to mix and then you're just going to click on fade out. So mix and then fade out and then it just adds the fade out in for you. Super easy. And you can play it and it sounds natural. They make it so it sounds like a natural fade out. And if you don't like it or you want to play with it yourself, you can click on the dots and move it around if you want it to be a faster fade out or a slower fade out or if you want to add a fade out into the middle you can do that as well. So you can play with it and move it around. I'm going to leave it just as it is because I like how it sounds for this song. So that's all I was doing for this song. So once I have it done, then I'm going to get it onto my iTunes by clicking share and then send to iTunes. 
And then you can just make whatever title you like for the song. And it will send it to iTunes for you. Just like that. And then it's on your iTunes and you can do whatever you like with it. If you want to continue editing, you can click on save and GarageBand will save it. And then you can just open up the project and keep working on it. And that's all you have to do to cut a song. So that is how I edit my music in GarageBand. If you have any questions or comments or things that you do differently that you think I should try, leave it in a comment down below and make sure that if you like this, you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.